हेलो एवरीवन एंड कैसे हो आप लोग एंड वेलकम टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ अ ट्रिकोपीडिया इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट इन जस्ट फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स सो दैट एंड दैट टू आर इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट यू कैन रिवाइज द कॉन्सेप्ट इन अ कंसाइज अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम एंड इन अ शॉर्टकट ट्रिक ओके सो आई एम ईशान मुदगल एंड टूडे आई एम बॉट अ सेशन बेस्ड ऑन अ क्लैम्पर सर्किट क्लैम्पर वन ऑफ द मो इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन योर एनोलॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स for both electrical ec branches so if you are from electrical ec branch this topic is very important for you so today we are going to learn how we can find out the output voltage equation and how to draw the output voltage wave form in a clamper circuit in just 5 minutes okay so let me introduce myself my name is shyam mudgal i have a 7 plus year of teaching experience i'm a gold medalist from nit allahabad seven times gate qualified and these are my area of expertise so first of all tell me what do you mean by a clamper circuit what do you mean by a clamper circuit so a simple statement a clamper circuit is actually a level shifter it also it provides a level shifter that i it adds or subtract a dc voltage to a signal now adding a and subtracting a dc voltage means whatever signal you have you are either shifting that signal upward or downwards right so the shift could be positive it means upward and downward a clamper also known as a dc restorer dc inserter dc translator or a clamped capacitor now clamper circuit is very very easy concept just you need to identify whether the circuit is clamper or not how you can identify it the most important point is that time constant time constant in case of clamper circuit time constant in case of clamper circuit will should be very high than the time period of a signal this particular condition is very very important okay why because of the clamper circuit we have in a clamper circuit we actually use the capacitor now if we have a capacitor the property of it is either it can discharge or charge now because of charging discharging property i want the capacitor should hold the voltage how can capacitor hold that particular voltage if the discharging time is very high if the discharging time is very high then the capacitor will not discharge and that's why the circuit can be used as a clamper that's a very very important point to understand so a basic clamper circuit contains a diode capacitor and a load now just i talked about the time constant the time constant cr must be higher than the time period okay so we have different different type of clamper circuit for example this is a negative clamper circuit a negative clamper circuit means if you have a signal if you have a signal that signal will shift downwards that signal will shift downwards so this is the meaning of a negative clamper circuit okay similarly we have a positive clamper now positive clamper means the positive clamper means the signal is going to shift shift upwards the signal is going to shift upwards that is the meaning of a positive clamper this is input that is output next we have a biased negative clamper circuit biased negative clamper circuit that the particular input is going to shift downwards with respect to some reference for example i have this reference for example i have this reference so this become a negative biased clamper circuit so this is some reference voltage below which your circuit has been uh, shifted okay or you can say the input uh, waveform has been shifted similarly we have a biased positive clamper circuit from the name you can suggest clearly that a signal is going to shift upwards a signal is going to shift upward based on some reference so let's suppose the reference is this one the signal will be like this so this is the meaning of a positive biased clamper circuit so we have basically four type of clamper circuit now we are going to understand how to find out the voltage equation in just 5 minutes so these are the steps that you must be follow first check in which cycle the diode is forward biased either diode is forward biased in positive cycle or a negative cycle once you identify the cycle then consider the above determined cycle and charge the capacitor to final value in that cycle for example the source is vm sin omega t 
the source is v m sin omega t so if the diode is going to be forward biased in positive cycle then the capacitor will charge to v m if the diode is uh, forward biased in negative half cycle then the capacitor will charge to minus v m it means the final value up to which the capacitor can be charged this is very important finally consider the other cycle in which diode is off and find the output voltage equation once you find out the capacitor voltage then go to the another cycle in which diode is off and find out what is the output voltage equation using kcl and kvl okay these three steps are enough to uh, uh, solve any question of a clamper circuit so let's start with first question so we have one question based on this concept so the question is draw output waveform for a given circuit in the clamping network now the first step to solve the clamper circuit first of all always remember if the value of resistor is not given in case of a clamper circuit you can take it as a very high so that time constant will be very high if the value of resistor is given then you should find out what is rc once you find out rc you should check whether it is higher than the time constant or not okay if it is not then the given circuit is not a clamping circuit right now identify in which cycle diode is on pause the video and then tell me the particular diode is going to be on in a positive half cycle because in a positive half cycle the anode is positive okay so in a positive half cycle the particular diode is on so this is a shortcut method okay this is the shortcut method bachcho so what you have to do you just have to turn on the diode you just have to turn on that diode so i have just turned on the diode the resistor i am taking as a infinite the resistor i am taking as a infinite and this is plus minus capacitor voltage now find out what is the capacitor voltage here by using kvl by using kvl i can say capacitor voltage i can say plus vc minus v in uh plus this is 2 volt okay this is 2 volt plus 2 equal to 0 so capacitor voltage is equal to v in minus 2 capacitor voltage is equal to v in minus 2 now we have to find out what is the maximum capacitor voltage in this cycle so it is equal to v in max minus 2 now understand this logic that we are considering the positive half cycle because of the diode connection so the maximum voltage here is 10 volt so 10 minus 2 give you 8 volts 10 minus 2 give you 8 volt it means the capacitor is going to charge to 8 volt this is the final value of a capacitor voltage now capacitor is not going to discharge ever because the resistor value is very high it will not allow the discharging of a capacitor the time constant is very high so now the second step these two step we have done this step and this step now the next step is consider the other cycle in which diode is off okay so in a negative half cycle i am considering the negative half cycle so in a negative half cycle the diode is off in negative half cycle the diode is off i need to find out the output voltage i need to find out the output voltage okay output voltage equation that is important so from here i can apply the kvl minus v in plus vcf plus v not equal to 0 so output voltage is equal to v in minus vcf now what is vcf vcf is the final voltage stored in capacitor that we have already find out is 8 volt so it is going to be v in minus 8 it is going to be v in minus 8 okay this is the output voltage and it varies with input voltage with this equation now according to question according to question we have given this is the input voltage according to question we have given this is the input voltage now what will be the output voltage what will be the output voltage input voltage minus 8 so this is 10 if you subtract it it become 2 input voltage minus it become 2 and here it become minus 18 here it become minus 18 like this this is going to be the output waveform this is going to be the output waveform okay just see very carefully this is going to be a output waveform now one thing you can note here bachcho one thing you can note here 
the peak to peak value is not changed here the peak to peak value is 20 volt here also the peak to peak value is 20 volt so this is also an interesting fact that peak to peak value does not change just your circuit has been shifted to downwards so it is a negative clamp uh, clamper and if you see very carefully it is a negative biased clamper sorry it is a negative biased clamper why because you have connected a reference voltage here okay so this is the shortcut method to solve the clamper question you can solve many question you can and this shortcut will never fail okay so i hope you understand this concept but for more concept like this don't forget to subscribe our channel and also download our app in which we are discussing the many questions in a free classes so bye guys take care see you in next recopedia